and welcome back to another video in our Next.js Epic course series. In today's video, we're going to take a look at how to protect your routes in Next.js via middleware. In our application, when we sign up, we want our users to redirect to the dashboard. Once the user is redirected to dashboard, we're going to add a logout button. But once you log out, you should not be able to go back from sign up page to dashboard. You should be redirected back to sign up. But this is not what's currently happening. So let's take a look how we could accomplish this. Check out the link in the description below for this complimentary blog post that we're using as our examples. Today, we're going to focus on creating a middleware.ts file to handle this logic. You could learn more about Next.js middlewares by reading more on their documentation and all the different use cases associated with that. With that being said, let's jump in into the video. Let's start by copying this code snippet from our complimentary blog post article and inside our VS Code, navigate into your source folder and create a new file called middleware.ts and paste in the following code. We haven't yet created this get user me loader. We'll talk about in just a moment. But taking a look at a code, we're going to check our current path. Then we're going to check if the current path starts with dashboard. If the user is not okay, meaning equal to false, we're going to go ahead and redirect the user to sign in. But if a user exists, we're just going to continue. So now let's go ahead and create this get user me loader. Go ahead and navigate to our data folder into the services and create a new file. And we're going to call it get user me loader.ts file. You're going to find the code snippet inside our article. I'm going to go ahead and copy it. Let's go ahead and paste it in VS Code. And before reviewing this code, let's go ahead and create our get auth token function. So inside our services folder, create a new file. We're going to call it get token.ts. And back in our code, let's grab the get auth token and paste it in. So we're just creating a helpful function to allow us to get our token from our cookies using the get method. Now let's go back to get user me loader. In Strapi, let's take a look on the roles authenticated for users permission plugin. We're going to see here a endpoint called me. This endpoint allows you to check with Strapi if the user is actually authenticated and get back the user data. We're going to use this endpoint to confirm that we actually have a logged in user. So taking a look in our code, we're making a request to our endpoint. We're using our token to validate. And in response, we're going to get our user data. If the user is logged in, we're going to set it to true and return our data. So in our middleware, when we get the user data, we're going to use it to verify if we should redirect or not. So let's test out our middleware. I'm going to go ahead and put a simple console lock to console lock our user and our current path. Think of your middleware as a intermediary step between you and your final response. This middleware runs on every request. And here you could do your final checks, like in our case, which routes to protect and which routes keep public. So in our code, we're defining our dashboard route as one of our protected routes. So let's see it in action. So without doing anything, if I refresh this page and we take a look at our console log, we see that our middleware runs. We could see that there is no current user because we're not logged in yet. So I'm going to go ahead and create another user. Test user, test user at email.com. And the password is going to be test user. When I click sign up, notice that we set our JWT token via HTTP only cookie and we were redirected to our dashboard. If we navigate back to our console log, you could see that we are now getting our user and our user data. This means that while logged in, I could navigate back to the home page and back to the dashboard. We don't have a logout button yet, which we'll add in just a moment. But if I remove the cookie and refresh, redirected back to our sign-in page. So if I try to manually go to the dashboard and click enter, notice that we're always redirected to our sign-in page. And you notice in our middleware console, there is no user. So to finish up the video, let's go ahead and implement all of our sign-in logic and add a logout button to our dashboard. Now that we have our middleware set up, let's go ahead and finish the rest of the code. Now we're pretty much gonna do very similar things we did in our sign-up form inside our sign-in form. So instead of watching me 
do it step by step like we did in the previous videos. We're just gonna use the code snippets found in our complimentary blog post that you could see in the description below. Let's first start by updating our auth-action.ts file. Let's go ahead and copy the snippet and inside VS Code, navigate to your data, actions, auth action file. Let's do command A and paste everything in. And you'll see the addition of adding a function to handle logout and a function to handle our login users. Now let's scroll down and grab the code snippet for the sign-in form. We're gonna copy it. In VS Code, let's navigate to components, forms, sign-in form, command A and command V to paste. Once the file is updated, let's create our logout button. Let's scroll down and you're going to find the code snippet for our login button. Go ahead and copy it. Within VS Code, let's navigate to our components custom and create a new file and it's gonna call it logoutbutton.tsx. Go ahead and paste the code snippet. It's using our logout action to clear the cookie when we click the button. And finally, in our app folder, navigate to our dashboard folder, page.tsx file, and let's import our logout button. Logout button, perfect. Now that everything is said and done, back in the front end, let's click sign in. I already have a user and I'm going to log in with that user at testuser at email.com and password is test user. Click sign in. And once we sign in, we're redirected to our dashboard. While I stay sign in, regardless if I navigate back home or navigate back to the dashboard, we will have no issues. But once I log out, we're going to be redirected back to our homepage. Since I'm logged out and there's no user, when I navigate back to dashboard, we're always gonna be redirected to the sign-in page. So if I wanna have access to the dashboard, I have to log in again. We're going to be redirected back to our dashboard. So in this video, we covered how to protect our routes with Next.js middlewares. We completed the rest of the code. And in the next video, we're gonna start working on building out this dashboard section. Thanks for watching and I'll see you then.